Guys, that is the biggest problem with that corner is that it is single groove. You saw he was half a car out of the groove and had no ability to turn that car. Next 12 of the wall here. Let's see if that thing moves. See how far that moves. Drivers continue to contact that in the race. Oh, he knows he's in trouble. Ah. <laughs> wow. All right, so it slid that yep. wall over. Guy's going to hit and, that. Yeah, look what it did. And you heard him say, I was fender, left front fender for Ryan Blaney. And they'll have to repair it again. Let's take a look. He, oh, he just gets loose and he's oh, nowhere to go. Man. Oh, wow. And that's a moment that you're thankful that wall is designed to move. Is correct. Oh, man. Huge impact there. And Steve, you've mentioned it. That backstretch chicane is so inviting because it just it, it invites you to carry so much speed through there. Well, it invites you, and it's required. I mean, everybody I've talked about says this would be a good shot at right here, real time. Wow. So, you know, it's inviting, and what people have told me, there's a car in front of them. Oh, took a peek there around Ryan Newman, and there's no real estate. Oh man, he again. Holy Toledo. We well, hit those turtles and you literally fly in the air. Oh, he's back. You must catch him dramatically. Pay attention to 31. Uh, happens quick. Guys, that is the biggest problem with that corner is that it is single groove. You saw he was half a car out of the groove and had no ability to turn that car. Same place Denny had trouble earlier today, this time for a different reason. Oh. Just barely caught it there, but that sent him up the wall or up the, the track into the wall. Sure enough, take a look. This is rear chicane. You're rewarded for going through there with a high rate of speed, but if you miss it wrong, you're going to pay a penalty. Move the, that tire barrier back off of the racetrack about probably eight inches. Just, he just couldn't do it. Wow. A big hit. Yeah, hey, if I'm another driver, I'm thinking. Rear tire going down as well. Similar to what the 20 had. Here's the 20 spin coming out of the back straightaway turn 12. They come in, Briscoe. Well, so will hop in the two car. He's going to miss the chicane. Right away, right Back behind him. Behind. And they're piling up behind him. Right here. They're behind him. Look at that. Back, see how early, how hard he's on the brakes. Couldn't get slowed down. Ran into the back of Garrett Smithley. We mentioned chaos at pit road and still got back up into the top 10 at the end of stage one. Spin for Ryan Seek. Nice give and take. A couple cars too wide. Well, they both made oh, 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 backwards. Sideways behind them. The yeah, 88 Alex, Alex Bowman. Bowman gets turned around. We have and, cars missing. Yep. This chicane. We're going to have to see how NASCAR reference in a little damage on the 88. All right. He missed the chicane there. Drove through it. You're on board with Martin Trex Jr. The 88 goes to the bottom of the racetrack. Yeah. It just locks up and completely misjudges the speed of the cars in front of them. Basically spins himself out. When there are so many cars trying to go into this uh, chicane side by side, they all have to slow down much more. He gets into the back. Austin Dillon gets into the left for a quarter panel of the 43 car. Bubba Wallace. He just didn't understand how much those cars were going to slow down and locked up the rear tires and spun himself out. Did a nice job or got lucky. I would say got lucky as the cars spin around them. Bubba missed the chicane as well. But he didn't stop. So I'm wondering if now we're going to see what happened. This wheel hops in there and spins out. All good. It's, it's just you're going so fast and you get those rear wheels hopping. You just cannot get it slowed down. It's just we've seen it all weekend long. It's going to continue to be a problem as these brakes get hotter and hotter. It's going to get worse and worse getting into that corner. Oh, no, Bubba Wallace in the 43 gets the wall. This may bring out the caution. That's at the exit of the backstretch chicane. 
This has got to bring out a yellow. Yes, it it's going to sit right there. Point in oh. the wrong direction. I was going to say, just like the first, we were going to get a yellow. <laughs> maybe that's maybe my Magic 8 ball talk to me. Let's see what happened. Oh, we've got a little help getting down into the breaking zone there. Man. He's been battling the 43 for a few wow. laps. And Bowman just cleaned him out. Yes. Have to wonder. You said it, Steve. Been battling the last several laps. It looked like Bowman. You're right. Just cleaned him out. He was running 15th, That's Kelly. Trouble had been brewing between these two four laps. As you can see, Alex Bowman said that Bubba Wallace was flipping him off lap after lap, and he finally said if he doesn't put that finger away, he's going to get one, and he sure did. Playoff and non-playoff drivers. Three races, three issues. Suarez and Logano at Las Vegas. Alex Bowman and the three a week ago at Richmond, and now Alex Bowman again with the 43 at the Roval. This season is unlike any other. Everyone's fuses seem to be shorter than ever. Alex Bowman sending the signal, don't flip me off. I mean, some people that will send you over the edge. It makes you mad. So will Bubba Wallace come back and do anything? We've seen him who's trying to go back to the right, spun around. That's what it felt like to ride with him. Chase Elliott wins stage two. Pit stop's coming up. Let's see what happened here. Gets into there, locks up the rear tires. Spins out harmlessly here. Gasses it up, gets going. Just the end of a bad, well not the end yet, but just been a bad week for Stenhouse Jr. Losing his ride, and not being very competitive here this weekend with speed. JJ gets turned around here in the chicane on the back straightaway. Shoe here getting down in the corner. Looks like looks like he got in there just hot. Didn't seem to be turned around there. By any got a back straightaway. Back straightaway Martin chicane Truex in 19 Jr. in the one car. The one of Kurt Busch, Martin Truex Jr. They're running third and fourth. Late race caution. <laughs> here we go. Trix gets loose. He understands that the one's going to try to compete with him in the braking zone. And they both got in there too deep. Martin broke loose first. Get side. The, the flight canceled from Chicago last night. Drove all the way through the night to get here. Uh, and missed the back chicane by just a little bit. And that's the damage that it's done to the front of that car. Well, he's talking on the radio like perhaps he has no brakes. And you see the speed that he's coming in there. So he turns left to avoid the cars in front of him. And my goodness. Jeff, you and I are awful at evaluating because we were out there earlier and said, ah, we didn't think those curves would do quite that much damage. I mean, it's, it's like the splitter went underneath the curb, and when it did, it just ripped the curb off the racetrack and then ripped the front end off the race car. Yeah, I'm having Indy road yes. course flashbacks watching that happen. Yeah, to your point, the curb itself went with him. Yes. He picked up the entire curb. So the tracks, what do they do? Do they fix that or just... It was bolted down was. prior to that car was. coming through. Oh, this would be a great shot. Yeah, so see how low the car is, and right there, it just digs underneath the splitter and just digs underneath the curb and just destroys the car. So I think he was out of brakes. I mean, he passed two cars getting in there. Josh Balicki's an experienced driver, so I, I'm going to believe he had a mechanical issue that forced him to abort. Eric Amarola in that rear chicane. See right here on the bottom of the racetrack, 17, alongside of him, and Eric just didn't recognize that he was there. Contact, he's running 20th. See right here, gets in there and just, 17 is there and off they go. A little bit of damage on Busher's car, but that put Amarola all the way back to 39. Let's run, and Chris Gabehart told him, hey, our philosophy is simple. We want one playoff point. Oh, a spin by Brad Keselowski. Keselowski around. Get a point in, go ahead. I got a double eye coming here. Wait, 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 wait. On road courses, the caution right, won't come out more. if you go, can go, continue go. on, and Keselowski is going to be able to continue on, it looks like. A little twitch right there in the breaking zone of the eight car, really pressuring a little smoke back there in the back of the pack. Oh, the two cars spun out. Brad Keselowski goes around. Oh, he, he gets the car right. A very lucky situation. Keep no going, contact. 
This is a huge point. Get story. Around here. Looking on the left hand side, Keselowski drops. He's now in the red, three points behind. Anyone else would go three wide right here and try to outbreak this 24 into the breaking zone, but I think Larson's going to cut him a break. Oh, Williams going to miss the. He's going to miss the chicane. Stop, stop. Oh, Williams. Stop all the way. Oh, he still has the speed. Did he ever stop? I'm not sure he ever stopped all the way. Yeah, he slowed. Saw smoke back behind him and sliding into the chicane is the 91 of Preston Pardis. And that car might be high sided over that yeah. set of curbs. I'm not sure there's enough weight on the rear tires to get it moving if he does get it fired. NASCAR will give him ample opportunity. Oh, big damage on the right front of the 18 as well. So, so Davison has issues with the 18 and the caution has come out for the fifth time. Yeah, had a nice run going in that 18. That 91 is able to get off the curb. And look at the tire smoke coming off the 98. Let's take a look at what happened to this 91 getting into the chicane. The damage is already on the right front fender of the 18. And you see on the upper right-hand side, the 91 gets in. I can't tell the car. Contact. Wow, he made contact on the inside wall. Yeah, I think it was the 34. Is yeah, that it was right? Kaz in the 34 that looks like he got into the back of the 91. And we saw that damage on the 98. Russell Bay, a very talented road course racer. We see him run very well. Oh, we see Herbs backwards. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. And now Hold just that yeah, quickly, well, things have changed. Yeah, Jones is in. More left side. Clear, clear. And Herbst is out. You get down in the off. corner. I don't see any contact at this point. Oh, he just uses a lot of curve with that right front. The car gets loose. And the A to Josh Berry does a nice job of not making bigger contact. We talked about the curbing, Jeff, but there it is. Just losing control. I'm sure no left rear quarter panel is not helping it have any sort of side force turning back to the right. Watch it. Watch how hard it hits this bump, this curb. Oh, now Riley. The only thing Riley can hope for.